Peaches and Riri tried to beat my ass, beat my ass, beat my ass. Peaches and Riri tried to beat my ass just about 35 minutes ago. <sighs> Fuck them. <sighs> Check it out. I'm chilling, right? I'm at the coffee shop. Just had me a nice shot of mud. You heard me? So, of course, Peaches and Riri one of them came from that camp I'm going to go with this one was more so rereading peaches so she come here right now she was about 5 9 um, she, she either was pregnant or just fat in the stomach she had a nice mini skirt on she didn't look fellas y'all ever see a, a, a peaches or a Riri where she still got some of her feminine physical facial features where she on her way to start looking like a man, but it ain't started to really majorly go that way. And she has some real nice legs, but it was one other fucked up problem about it. She had a big ass motherfucking tattoo from her hip all the way to her kneecap. It was completely covered with a big tattoo that covered like uh half of her rear leg all the way around to the front half of her front leg so i you know i'm like all right you know so i'm sitting there you know doing my thing and she gave me the look like motherfucker you see me standing in this line now you supposed to offer to pay for what I'm about to purchase so I can keep my money for me. And I'm like, oh, this, this bitch is about to get up. Who's waking up? <laughs> nah, I ain't do shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shit. If we was not in the suburbs, she would have cracked me in my fucking head. That's the only reason why she didn't hit me. Because she started to get closer. Y'all know that commercial? Get a little closer so I can bust you in your shit. Well, let's get closer so I can knock your ass out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's about to bust me in my fucking shit. Yeah, because I was supposed to offer to pay for her stuff. And I didn't even know her. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, this bitch got it all wrong. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. And she looked like, yeah. I see your ass again. Your ass is mine. Remind me of that song made by Scarface, The World Is Yours. You can run, but you can't hide to find you. Just when you think the shit is over, I'm standing right behind you. You crossed the wrong motherfucker, now you bad know it. Cause I'm a nigga, these niggas just can't destroy it. Yeah. He said, I'm, I'm, she said, you know, I'm kind of slipping up. I should have killed you from the get-go, nigga. Now this is it. That's the way she came on me. The song is called He's Dead on Scarface solo album, The World Is Yours, if I'm not mistaken. That's exactly the way she came on me. And even though Peaches and Riri is, you know, they, they some masculine motherfucking weight, incredible honk, steroid, muscle milk drinking bitches, but they can still read us. And it's like, oh, this motherfucker, you know, put me on the pay no mind list and shit like on Guff, fellas, because I got tattoos and shit on. And according to him, I'm starting to look like a man and shit. And I was like, yeah, she, she was right. She was right. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that here is where it's just going to continue to be a downhill spiral for Peaches and Riri, especially more than any other women of different nationalities in the West, is that just because they do and say all this evil fucked up shit towards us as men no matter how good we are to them there is a thing called reality and that's what the universe was created on truth and us as men are logical beings 
Now coming from a single mother broken household and shit, you might have fucked around for those of my viewers that came from it like I did. You see a lot of shit you don't post to see. But I'm saying that to say this. Most men are like, nah, you know, I, I'm done with you. See, now Peaches and Riri, like I said in my other video recently, they starting to come out here in the suburbs where I'm at, you know, trying to blend in with the pretty white women. And it's like, well, nah, because you masculine and you own, you you men with vaginas and shit. And y'all all fucked up. So y'all gets no love. Now, y'all will feed you. Now, I ain't going to pay for your motherfucking order. No, nah, you got that twisted. You know, but now nah, they trying to, you know, come back and shit again. Like one of them songs from the Ghetto Boys, gripping on the other level, called Trigger Happy Nigga. He says some stupid motherfucker said I owed him. I don't pay him. I pay. I told this. I told this motherfucker I show him. But if you coming from me with that bullshit, your card is filed when you die. When I pull it, and I'm saying that to say this: these bitches are trying to come with the card. They're trying to play the race card. That we the same motherfucking color. She want to be black and shit when it's convenient for herself. It's stinking ass. But like I said, almost got my ass whooped. 